The most important thing that Dan's done is listen to Nathan. Um, people can say they listen and then they just pick out what they want to do and then go with it the way they want to do it. But Dan hasn't done that. Dan's listened to everything that Nathan said. Um, I think all of Nathan's problems uh, haven't been helped by the fact he's been by himself pretty much his whole life. I think everything he's done wrong has all been bottled up inside him. And suddenly he's found people he can trust and he suddenly found that trust in us and just opened that bottle and it's all come flooding out to us. So it's, we've just tried to help him the best we can. If Nathan hadn't have come to hit him, he was in a lot of trouble. He was taking a lot of drugs, so I mean, he would be, he, he may not even be here. Um, but yeah, he, he has turned it all around now, so. So I've got a point of care. Been in care for two years, now, now I'm a care leaver. Living in a shared house at the moment. Open going to some sort of YMCA. I was on the streets for about three weeks before I went to care properly. I just tried to turn to drugs about four or five months ago now. I turned to drugs after my 19th. I couldn't cope anymore living on my own. Like being away from the family house and like stress and everything. Without Dan and without this course, I'd be still on the drugs. I'd be hit, hit right back and um, wouldn't come back up. Probably dead in the gutter somewhere. Dan's like took me under his wing basically and been there to support me for the last five months. He's given me a second chance basically in life to get where I need to be.